hey lovelies welcome to my channel my name is tracy what's good what's good what's good G? <laughs> who is excited to have me back because i am excited to have me back today's topic is going to be drum roll please thank you bc that is british columbia versus Ontario. I've been dreading doing this video but I think that I do have the accreditation to do this video why because I have lived in both provinces so I can tell y'all the differences that I think that they have so it is a battle between British Columbia that is BC and Ontario so provinces, if you don't know already, um, in Canada, we call different regions um, provinces as opposed to states. So number one, the weather. I'm going to start with the almighty British Columbia. You see British Columbia, when it comes to weathers, it can never be straight. It can never be British Columbia. It varies back, right, center. Like, even you can't even trust the weather channel. Like, you just can't even trust your iPhone. You go out and you just take the weather as is. Like, whatever they give you, just take it. It could be raining today in the middle of summer. It could be extremely sunny in the middle of winter. If you live in BC, you just have to accept the weather as is. Be, be, just be happy and thankful that you're awake. Just take it as it is if you live in BC. That's just what I have to say about that. The uh, weather in Ontario is a little bit more true to season. So by saying this, I mean that if it's the winter, it is the winter. <laughs> like, please get your storm jacket. If you're not wearing like Canada goose or you get yourself a Columbia jacket because... <laughs> You're not going to be finessing it like BC where you can wear anything. You're not going to finesse it. You need the actual jacket for the weather. In the spring in Ontario, it's, it's, a, it's raining. Like, just get your umbrella. In the summer, it is hot. See, I've lived in Nigeria, so I can tell you for a fact. You see Toronto, Ontario, sun, just bag me. It's hotter than Lagos. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I was. But the summer is extreme. So Ontario weather is a little bit more true to weather. So if you love like things just being separate, like for sure, for sure, you know, Ontario is the place for you. We you know that you want to just finesse the day. You, you don't want to own any expensive winter jacket. You just want to like just wing it, like just wear a regular, just a re regular rainy jackets, just soft, nothing too thick, no, no need of extra like boots or whatever. Just, just want to finesse it with sneakers, like. Then you go to BC because, like, yeah, the weather is just gonna be what it is. <laughs> what it is. Um, in BC, there is a lot more rain. So, um, yeah, if there was a second name for a province, I would say rain. Like, it could be raining anytime, any day, any minute. It's just a rainy place. They love rain. And uh, when it comes to snow, very rare very rare it's snow in bc is so rare that they even have snow days in bc like because they don't have a lot of them don't have like snow tires yet they don't know how to maneuver like snows yet so like yeah they, they still have snow days where they shut down because of snow but rain counts bc in on the other hand, Ontario is a lot more like colder in the winter. So it's like actual snow, like snowstorm, things like that. So the snow is so high that you really need the right gadgets to wear. Oh, uh, they almost, in fact, everybody in Ontario has like a snow tire. They have the gears, everything, they equipped vehicles for them. So they hardly ever call snow days unless it's extremely like blizzards and it's just too much they, they they operate like nothing happened when snow is falling in ontario like they operate normal nothing has changed nothing nothing shook nothing shook them um 
in British Columbia, there is a lot more of the older population and obviously like a thriving younger population. So the younger population is obviously growing, but there's a lot more, um, it's a more older populated in BC. In Ontario, it is more, um, a lot more younger um, population. Um, yeah, everyone that is like young and free, everybody wants to have a taste of what, it, what Ontario has to offer. It's the Bedu city, the Bedu place. So if you're young and free, you go there, searching for life, <laughs> searching for purpose. Yeah, so that's the vibe. Wow, <laughs> in Ontario. I also want to add that in British Columbia, there is not a lot of diversity yet. Um, just yet um, right now there's a lot of the Asian community there's a lot of Caucasians and obviously a, gr a growing population of people um, of black people but um, in Ontario it is filled with so many people different colors different races different backgrounds called the shade the type the size it is available the jobs in British Columbia is very limited. Um, there's there's a, there's opportunities, but it's very limiting to certain like roles. Um, so if you, there are certain roles that you know you can't. You even if you really want to do it, you just can't do it yet, just because a lot of the headquarters and things like that um, are in in Ontario, which is Toronto as well. So. In Ottawa, Ontario is where the headquarters reside. So, <laughs> if you know what's good for you, you research the industry that you're going into, so that you can determine whether British Columbia is the place for you or um, Ontario is the place for you. And don't get me wrong, there are lots of other jobs for other markets that are in BC. Like I said, whatever you're doing in school, just kind of Google it and see if there is opportunity for that in BC or it's something that you can only do in Ontario. Housing in BC is expensive. This is not to say that housing in um, Ontario isn't, but it just kind of feels like, I don't know. I think people are just going with the old West Coast, West Coast, West Coast, West Coast, West Coast, West Coast. So of course, like housing here in the West Coast is like, it's just expensive like you know ocean view like you know <laughs> all the community retirement money yeah so british columbia is like retirement money it's money so housing here is expensive every, every home in bc looks like a vacation home so yeah think about that vacation home money uh in ontario of course houses are expensive as well but um I want to say that at least in Ontario, you get options, right, of the areas you want to live in and like the affordability. It doesn't have to, no, not everyone has to live downtown Toronto. Of course, if you live downtown Toronto, you're going to pay, but um, you know, there are other places that are quite affordable in Ontario as a province. So you don't have to live in Toronto or GTA. You can move to other places. Um, like Hamilton, London, Ontario, like the places that you can move to in Ontario that can be a little bit more um, affordable. Another thing I want to say is that in British Columbia, there are less school options. So a uh, few schools, but it's not a lot of options compared to Ontario, where there's like a lot of school there, schools there, as in a lot of options in Ontario. So please don't forget to like this video, share this video, and do all the good stuff. I love you. If you live in British Columbia, you would be very familiar with indigenous communities. You would be very familiar with like just indigenous learnings and awareness. And this is just because like, you know, even just by coming into British Columbia, you would see like the Ainuk Shuk. So that is, um, First Nations statues, artwork, things like that that would expose you to the indigenous communities. So um, in Ontario, um, I didn't see a lot of those things that I just mentioned. Um, so 
of course they they are there but they were invisible to me just say so please like just cor correct me if i'm wrong but they were invisible to me i'm sure I'm, i know that they're there because they're obviously um part of the canadian culture but um it just wasn't something that was in my face i didn't i didn't know i learned a lot of the things i know about indigenous communities from british columbia um however in, in in ontario there were more of like a lot of like bilingual like french speaking people there so like second language in ontario would be french but more but in british columbia you you a lot of people speaking the indigenous language in political functions so bc is a little more slow paced so everything is like everything is kind of everything feels like a vacation it's just can, can people just be fast <laughs> um ontario on the other hand is a bit more fast paced very lagos vibe very like new york vibe very very fast paced so if you look at that energy if that's not what the kind of energy you're looking for then make a decision where you want to go when it comes to the nightlife experience um <laughs> ciao in british columbia the nightlife experience is pretty slow and closes very early so as early as two if you want to stretch it maybe three like i don't know i've never had three before but um yeah the nightlife is like the pub the club the restaurant everyone is the city pretty much sleeps at a certain time um in ontario on the other hand the city cha <laughs> That's when the party starts at 12. That's when the party starts. <laughs> like, a dairy is a jam. If you want a nightlife, like a sweet one, child, just move to Ontario. Like, that's just where the light, nightlife resides. That's where the nightlife resides. Another thing I want to just say is um, the there's a very little shopping experience in british columbia so it's not um it's just very dry um it, yeah if you go to vancouver um it's just like this the stores but it's not enough compared to ontario ontario is like the fashion hub it's just a lot of options like really like the malls are massive options are crazy they're never ending it's the fashion hub and everything is the our art hub it's just it's the theater hub like just shout out shout out to ontario <laughs> i love it um yeah so if you're really looking for like just a very significant like fashion lifestyle you might not find it in british columbia you might find that in um ontario so i want to say like even just the fashion sense you know like F vancouver fashion sense on um, bc fashion sense a little bit more laid back more girls wearing like fitness outfits in bc like the lululemons like just chill you know like chilled with their puffer jackets like oh good to go those are like the vancouver fashion style like the bc ones and then um back in toronto the ontario fashion style is like you know uh, yeah or just every day the fashion runway you know like i said the bc is in the west coast so there's a lot of like nature activities like you know um ski snow skiing if you go down to whistler you can snow ski or like um boat cruise a lot of people here they are like always on the boats in the summer like just they just are in um, mountain climbing do like kind of activities you find very naturey like out activities you find in British Columbia, whereas like in Toronto, in addition to all the nature activities that they have, they also have um, so nature activities they do have like Niagara Falls. They also have like you know ocean and things like that. The beach, everything is good too. But in addition to that, they have um, man-made like fun activities. You can go to Wonderland. You can go to like 
different daily activities that you can do there it's unending like it's unmatched something else i wanted to say is that of course if you live in um bc which is um the west coast you're closer to certain cities in the states and you would get cheaper flights of course if you're flying from bc to these places in america and those places are like um if you live in bc you'd be very close to very cheap and affordable flights relatively affordable flights to seattle to portland to los angeles to las vegas those are the places that are very 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 close to bc and you can go there like this very cheap flight as low as 200 dollars you get to this um american cities on the other hand if you live in ontario you're more closer to like places like detroit chicago new york those are the places that are closer to the ontario province and of course you can you know you get cheaper flights as well so everyone has a perk like certain cities that are closer to different provinces so that's just your perk so in british columbia up until january of 2020 um there were no ubers and lyft so we thank god that uber and lyft was introduced to vancouver that's just one city in british columbia vancouver that uber lyft was introduced and then they can use it as of january 2020 so this is something that did not exist in that province bc but in ontario this is something that they have at the snap of their fingers uber lyft etc like it is a lot of options in ontario having it in mind that in british columbia there are certain um grocery stores that are not in ontario so you could be living in british columbia and you know you go to a certain um grocery store for example thrifty foods to buy like your food stuff and then you go to ontario and you're like oh i want to go to thrifty foods they're gonna look at you so weirdly like what is she talking about what <laughs> just wanting you to know that in bc that there is a growing population of the nigerian community so if you live in bc then it will you know you would struggle with having like nigerian food or nigerian restaurant at every angle of your eyes and whatever or like at the tip of your finger you might be struggling with that you know just food stuff getting food stuff in bc like nigerian food stuff and things like that however if you lived in ontario this is easy peasy 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 easy peasy peasy like it's a way of life there like it's literally everywhere like you go to like north york and you get what you gotta get <laughs> Cha! we have come to the end of this video um i hope you sort of enjoyed it um this is just my only little like things that i found that were different in these two provinces because like i said earlier i have lived in both provinces so i feel like i knew a little bit about what the differences are of course there are more differences i cannot talk about everything um but anyways i hope i was able to just entertain you and don't forget to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one love you